Hey there, drone enthusiasts and aerial photography aficionados. Today, we're diving deep into the world of DJI, the undisputed king of the drone market. We've got some exciting rumors about their upcoming models that'll make your propellers spin, but there's also some stormy weather on the horizon that could change the game entirely. So strap in and let's take this baby for a spin. The miniseries has always been DJI's secret weapon for reeling in drone newbies. It's light enough to avoid most regulations, smart enough to make you look like a pro, and just capable enough to get you hooked on aerial photography. Now, the Mini 5 Pro is looking to take things to stratospheric heights. Word on the street is that this little powerhouse might come packing a 1-inch sensor. For the uninitiated, that's a big deal for a sub-250 gram drone. We're talking 4K at 60 FPS, folks. Imagine the crisp, buttery smooth footage you could capture with that. And it's not just about resolution, expect better low light performance and a wider dynamic range too. Your sunset shots are about to get a whole lot sexier. But wait, there's more. The Mini 5 Pro might be getting some fancy features usually reserved for its bigger, more expensive siblings. We're talking air sense for safer flights and vision assist for smoother obstacle navigation. There's even talk of a portrait orientation mode for those sweet 360 degree shots that'll make your Instagram followers green with envy. Battery life has always been the Achilles heel of mini drones. Nothing kills the buzz faster than a low battery warning just as you're lining up the perfect shot. But rumors suggest we might see a game changing 40 minute flight time. That's enough to capture the entire duration of your kid's soccer game. Or more realistically, your entire patience for watching a kid's soccer game. Other potential features on the wish list include adjustable aperture, active track for following moving subjects, and new return to home options. When can we expect this little wonder to hit the skies? If DJI sticks to their usual schedule, we might see an announcement around September. Now, let's shift gears and talk about the Air 3S. The Air series has always been the Goldilocks of the DJI lineup, not too big, not too small, just right for enthusiasts who want more oomph than the Mini but don't need the pro-level features of the Mavic series. And this new model? It's shaping up to be a real showstopper. A leaked video shows the Air 3S sporting a dual camera setup, similar to what we're seeing in smartphones these days. It's also rumored to be bulking up a bit compared to the Air 3, but for a good reason we might be looking at a 1-inch sensor upgrade. That's like going from regular pizza to stuffed crust you know it's more, but you don't care because it's delicious. The most intriguing rumor though? A LiDAR sensor. For those not in the know, LiDAR is like giving your drone a pair of high-tech glasses. If this pans out, it could revolutionize the drone's autonomous flying, obstacle avoidance, and focusing abilities, especially in low light. Imagine capturing perfect footage of a moonlit landscape or navigating through a misty forest at dawn. However, don't get too excited smaller LiDAR systems might have limited range. It's cool, but it's not quite see-through walls level of cool. There's also talk of improved battery life and better stability in windy conditions, which are always welcome upgrades. Because let's face it, Nothing ruins an epic drone shot quite like your footage looking like it was filmed during a magnitude 7 earthquake. But here's the catch it might be heavier than its predecessor. Not great news for hikers and backpackers who count every ounce. You might have to choose between packing an extra granola bar or your shiny new drone. Tough call, I know. As for the release date, your guess is as good as mine. But based on DJI's patterns, we might see it drop later this year. Start making space in your gear bag now. Let's kick things off with a bit of history. DJI has been dominating the drone scene since day one. Their secret sauce? A perfect blend of sleek, durable designs and controls so user-friendly, even your grandma could fly one. From hobbyists capturing their backyard barbecues to Hollywood directors shooting blockbusters, 
DJI has become the go-to choice for aerial imagery. But here's the thing about tech it never stands still. And DJI? They're always pushing the envelope, trying to outdo themselves. Remember the Mini 4 Pro that dropped in 2023? It was barely out of its box before whispers started circulating about its successor, the Mini 5 Pro. And let's not forget the Air 2S from 2021 a drone so versatile, it's still holding its own against newer models. Now we're hearing buzz about the Air 3S, exciting times, right? But hold on to your controller, because there's a plot twist in this high-flying tail. While DJI is soaring in the global market, they're facing some serious turbulence in the US. Yeah, you heard that right a potential ban. We'll get into that mess later, but first, let's talk about these rumored new drones that have got the whole community buzzing. The US Ban Drama Now, let's address the elephant in the room, the potential DJI ban in the US. Yeah, it's as serious as a heart attack, and potentially just as damaging to DJI's health. Here's the lowdown. The U.S. Congress is pushing a bill called the Countering CCP Drones Act. It passed unanimously in the House Energy and Commerce Committee, which is a bigger deal than getting all your friends to agree on a pizza topping. The goal? To restrict DJI drones due to alleged security risks and ties to the Chinese government. The main concern is that DJI, being a Chinese company, might be forced to hand over American users' data to Chinese officials. Imagine Xi Jinping browsing through your beach vacation footage not a comforting thought, is it? There's also an economic angle the US wants to boost its domestic drone industry. And DJI's 58% market share isn't exactly leaving much room for the little guys. DJI, of course, isn't taking this lying down. They're calling the ban dangerous and based on unfounded fears and xenophobia. They insist they don't collect data without user consent and deny any involvement in human rights abuses. It's like watching a high-stakes game of political ping-pong, with drones as the ball. If the ban does happen, it's not all doom and gloom. Companies like Anzu Robotics from Malaysia are already stepping up, offering drones with DJI-like tech but using domestically made software. It's not ideal, but it's a workaround. Think of it as the drone equivalent of a cover band, not quite the original, but it'll do in a pinch. The big picture. So, where does this leave us? On one hand, we've got two potentially game-changing drones on the horizon. The Mini 5 Pro could redefine what's possible in a lightweight, travel-friendly package. Imagine capturing professional-grade aerial footage with a drone that weighs less than your morning coffee. The Air 3S, with its dual cameras and possible LiDAR, could be an aerial photographer's dream come true, opening up new possibilities for creative expression and technical achievement. But on the other hand, we've got this looming ban that could throw a massive wrench in DJI's US operations. It's not just about DJI either this could reshape the entire drone industry in the States. We might see a rise in domestic drone manufacturers, or a flood of DJI-like products from other countries. The drone landscape as we know it could change dramatically. For now, all we can do is wait and see. Will the Mini 5 Pro and Air 3S live up to the hype? Will they even be available in the US? Will DJI manage to dodge the banned bullet, or will they have to reinvent themselves for the American market? Only time will tell. One thing's for sure the drone world is never dull. Whether you're a casual flyer capturing family picnics, or a pro aerial photographer working on your next masterpiece, these developments are going to impact you one way or another. It's an exciting time to be in the drone game, even if it comes with a side of political drama. Are you team DJI? Or do you think it's time for some new players in the game? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, I'd love to hear your take on this. Let's get a discussion going.